Well, we're using a line boring bar to uh, do this, a line bore on the uh, Volkswagens. And as you can see, we already have this one set up with some cutters. And we keep our cutters on this little rack here to keep them organized. And then this is a special cutter that we use for cutting the thrust. And we'll show you how that's done as well. One of the things that we do have that I actually made up that most shops don't have is a tool for setting the cutters and making sure that they're the right size. A lot of these old uh, boring bars were set at the factory and they've gotten undersized a lot of times over the years with lots of use on them. But uh, we try to maintain our bar a little bit better than that. So here we go. Well, we've already started by installing the case bolts and three of the 8mm fasteners around the front of the tank so that we make sure that this stays nice and tight and that the first bearing gets machined correctly. Alright, now we're ready to install the bar. There's a taper on this and tape on the back side here that allows it to center up the existing holes that were machined at the factory. Here you can see how it's lined up here on the back or the front of the case, however you want to call it, and also the other bearing out here. I uh, kind of picked this thing up here a little bit so you can see down inside of here how the cutters are going to cut the bearings in the block. Well, once the uh, cutters have gone all the way through, we can take our tool out and check our work. Well, here's a problem that we find every once in a while. The uh, cutter cut the uh, 40 over on this case, which was already 20, and we've got an area right here that didn't clean up. So we're gonna have to change our cutters to a 60 and cut this 60 thousandths oversize, or one and a half millimeters. This is another block we uh, just ran the boring bar through and it's already been bored 40 but what I want to show you here is the bearings and how the case has shifted. Uh, you can see to the left there how it's uncut and you look up here on the top it's on the right hand side so that means that the case has shifted at some point and this is one of the reasons why we made our special jig for putting in shuffle pins on these things where we actually put six pins in the block to be able to reduce this chance of happening. All right, I've got the thrust cutter mounted on our shaft here and we're going to cut that next. Well, we're all done here. All we have to do now is get the bearing and uh, cut it to fit the block. And this block will be ready to go back into service. If you have questions about VW line boring, give me a call here at Coast Mesa R&D. We'll see you soon.